Earlier this morning, we spoke with former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney out today with a new book titled Oath and Honor, A Memoir and a Warning. Here's part of our conversation, beginning with why she believes Trump remains the front runner for the Republican nomination. I think there are, there are a combination of things going on. Um, I think, first of all, there are millions of people around the country who feel like they, they are not heard by the government, who have felt like they don't have a voice. And uh, Donald Trump has managed to convince them uh, dishonestly that, that he could be their voice. And so I think that reflects a certain percentage of the Republican Party. It's, it's not a huge percentage. Uh, certainly the people in Congress who actually believe what he's saying is very, very small. But, but he's enabled and, and uh, appeased um, and collaborated with by people who know better in, in leadership in the Republican Party today. And, and that's partly what makes him so, so dangerous, right. uh, is people have been willing to look the other way and, and go along even when they know, know that's wrong. You know, it once was they would look the other way because, you know, they won't, they don't want to lose the base. They don't want to lose their, their seats in Congress. But you write that, you know, even during the Trump impeachment time, that some members, maybe even many, were scared for their own safety if they would vote toward impeachment. Can you tell us more about that, what you heard? Yeah, I mean, it was... It was um widespread in many instances. Uh, people would say it directly. Uh, a knowledge that if they did the right thing, if they publicly opposed Trump, if they voted for his impeachment, for example, that they would be putting themselves and potentially their family at risk. Um, you know, I, I talk in the book about the vote the first time that, that the Republicans attempted to oust me from my conference chair position. Um, where, you know, we prevailed significantly. Uh, it was a secret ballot. And I suspect that had impeachment been a secret ballot, for example, um, the numbers would have been, been you know, much more, uh, many more Republicans would have voted in favor of impeachment. Now, that's, you know, the fact that we're living in a situation where you have to think about a secret ballot because people want to protect themselves because people feel they're threatened by violence. That's it's not a place that we've been before in this country. I'm curious how you assess the future of the Republican Party. If there's no room right now anyway for Liz Cheney, for goodness sakes, or Mitt Romney, or if John McCain is going to be trashed by this, uh, John McCain is going to yeah. be trashed by this current version of the party. If, as you write in the book, they defy everything that Ronald Reagan stood for, what does the Republican Party look like going forward as you see it? Well, it certainly right now has abandoned those principles. It, it, you know, I joined the party uh, during the era of Ronald Reagan. And um, today the party looks much more like a cult of personality, frankly. And, and look, you know, Donald Trump is not a conservative. Uh, he has not been a Republican very long. Uh, I talk in the book at one point, I wanted to say that, to tweet that I had been a Republican longer than Donald Trump had been spray tanning. My communications director <laughs> said, no, no, don't, don't do that. But, but, you know, the seriousness of it is that the party is now walked away from the Constitution. And so I don't know if our party can be saved. Um, it may be that we need to build a new party, but I think those issues have to come after this 2024 cycle, because the focus has to be just completely right now on making sure we don't return Donald Trump to the White House. Uh, which leads, Liz, to the question that I know you uh, and a lot of conservatives, a question that I've been uh, troubled by every day. Uh, how do you beat Trump? How do you beat Trump in 2024? Uh, what is your advice to Democrats? What's your advice to independents? What's your advice to people running uh, the Biden campaign? What do they need to do to beat Trump? What we have to do to beat Trump is be unified. And we have the numbers on our side. We have you know, the, the numbers in terms of people across the political spectrum who will not support him. Um, but we cannot get into a situation where people think that there are other issues that matter more than this one. Um, and we have plenty of time uh, to debate and to argue about all of those issues we care deeply about. But um, that is not where we are now. Where we are now, we've got to be focused on defeating him. Part of our conversation earlier this morning with former Republican Congresswoman Liz Cheney.